So we need to toggle between the dark and the light theme, right? We'll be adding a little button for that. Now, how we can do that? Now, again, this is something where Redux comes into the picture because we want to share that dark theme data uh, between all the screen sites accordingly. The, all the screens are changing their color. So again, here Redux comes into the picture, right? Okay. So let's uh, implement the logic, and then you will be understand more, right? Then you will be able to understand more. So let's create a new reducer. I'll be closing all the components because uh, it's confusing me, right? Okay. Now here I will be creating separate reducer. Uh, and let's give this a name of uh, theme r e d u c r dot j s right dot j s right. Okay. I will copy all the thing it has. Control C. I will paste it in this theme reducer. Control V. Let's give it a name of T H E M E theme R E D U C E R like so. And initially this theme initial data will be false. So initially our dark mode will be false, right? Okay. So initially our dark mode will be false. Okay. And if the action is let's say change theme. Right, then we need to change the theme. So we are receiving action dot payload, else we are uh, returning the default that is false. Right? Okay. Yeah, this is it. So we'll be combining these both to reducer. For that, let's come to this app dot js. We need to pull out that is something called as combine reducer from maybe from Redux. Right? Let's see if we get suggestion. See, yeah, combine reducers. Now, where is our reducer? Now here we'll be writing here const root r e d u c e r right okay now here we, i will be writing combined reducers u m combined reducer and i will pass an object now this is our this is our state basically this is our central state now this or this javascript object in here so it will have a two keys one is the card c a r d card data right and this will be basically an array right so this card data reducer is this reducer Right, so card data has the reducer of this reducer R E D U C R. So basically, initially the reducer is returning an empty array. So this is equivalent to uh, this, right? Initially, this is equivalent to this, right? Okay. Again, it will have a let's say a dark mode, M O D, right? Dark mode, or let's say some let's name it some. Uh, Let's try to put some another name. Let's say my dark mode, mode. Okay. Uh, and initially, uh, this my dark mode will be coming. Uh, so we'll be attaching reducer of this dark uh, theme. Oh, uh, we created here this theme reducer. We'll be attaching this theme reducer to this my dark mode key. Uh, here, put a comma. So let's import that, right? So we'll be importing import something from dot slash src slash Reducer slash theme reducer and that something is called theme reducer, right? So we'll attach this theme reducer to a, this my dark mode key, right? So here I will attach this theme reducer like so. So initially this theme reducer will be our false, right? So this theme reducer is basically returning the false, right? Here you can see this theme reducer is returning initially this state. So initially this state is false, right? So this is equivalent to false, right? And this is equivalent to array because it initially this reducer is returning array. Now this is our updated state, right? So our state something looks like this. So state our state has now two values. One is the card data which is basically empty right now, and one is the my dark mode which is false right now, right? Okay. Now I'll be passing this reducer root reducer control C to this control V. Right. Okay. Now we need to change in the our code part. So I will just copy this car data. I will. I need to make change in our code part. So I will be going to home. Uh, this home. I have made use of this use selector. Now use selector has access to the state. From state, I want to return on this car data. So I will put state dot car data and I will assign that to this. Like so. I will again go to the explore screen right here. Also, I am making use so here. I will put dot control v right. So this is an array. Okay. Again, I will go to search here in the search, and here again I will put dot and control v. And I think I don't need to make change in this dispatch right. Let let me see the logic. If the type is this, then it being it is being dispatched. Uh, it is uh, rest everything is correct right. Okay. 
arrest everything is correct we'll change the logic if we got some kind of error we'll save this all the screen right we'll save this logic we'll save this logic we'll save this logic now uh let's come to this uh component right in this component now we'll be detecting right what is the uh, value of our central store right so we'll be detecting if the dark theme is false or true then accordingly we'll be changing this right okay so here let's write here const uh, variable let's say let uh, my theme theme my theme now i need to make use of the use selector in this right so i will be importing use selector right from react redux that is use selector and uh here i will be using this use selector and use selector has access to our state as tate right and we'll be returning right we'll be returning a uh, state dot now what we just gave here key what we gave her key my dark mode so we'll be control c so we'll be returning this right so control v uh, control v like so yeah or instead we can here write here current theme c u w r e n d current t h e m e right like so and now we can put an expression here right here we can detect uh c u current theme if current theme means is uh, true right if current theme is true that means the dark mode is enabled right uh so we need to deliver uh, else we need to deliver this Uh, custom default color. If the dark, uh, the current theme is true, means the dark mode is enabled. Then we need to return a custom dark theme. Custom dark theme. As we need to return this default theme, right? So this is the logic, right? Now, how we'll be updating our state, right? So let's create a button, or you know, we can. Uh, let's say we'll be going to our header component, right? Let's say we'll be changing our state. when user will click on let's say account circle let's say if user click on the account circle will be changing our theme right okay so let's try to do that so we'll be making use of dispatch right so yeah so we'll be we need to make use of use the uh, use dispatch hook right so i will be importing that uh right i m p o r t import uh from uh react redux and that is a uh, use dispatch right so here i can write here const d i s p p a t c h and use dispatch like so and uh, where is our account yeah here here it is here it is account circle right so let's say if user clicks on this account circle we'll be toggling the theme right we can we will be able to toggle so i can here chain on this on press right so i will uh call this dispatch right i will invoke this dispatch and let's pass here action with the type of uh uh let me go to this theme reducer what was its type change theme right control c control v control o my bad control z uh control c and control v like so and here we will be adding payload key p a y l o a d and payload will be uh we need to make use of use selector who can detect right what is the current value then we can pass the inverse of that value right okay so again we will be making use of use selector right and here c o n s t const uh uh, uh equal to use selector and redux is, redux is too tough right redux adding redux is too tough right we are getting lot of boiler code in here but we are programmer we don't chat with the code right we need to do stuff right 
we need to write the code stat i know redux is tough so i, I have write uh, I have written lots of code, right, without testing anything because Redux is tough, right? We need to that makes our hands dirty with Redux, right? It is tough, right? Yeah, so we need to return. Uh, let me go to my uh, combined reducer. Where is my combined reducer app? And what was the name? My dark mode. Okay. Control C and Control V. And here. Let's give it a name of C U W R E N D current current theme T H T H E M E right current theme. So this will be initially false. Now here, if this is uh, false, then we need to convert this into true. So I'll be passing null. I'll be inversing. So I can put this not to inverse that. If it it is false, then it will be converted to true. If it is true, it will be converted to false. So here I can pass the in, uh, invert of this current theme like so. And let's cross our fingers and let's test this out, right? Redux value ensure component is wrapped in provider. I think the error is because you know we are making use of this use selector hook in this app component, right? But this state is not accessible in this app component because you know we are passing this provider to all the child components of the app, but we are not passing this to the app component. I think this is the error, right? So that is why the state is not accessible in this app component. So we can create a, another component here, right? So export uh, D E F A U L T E F A U L T default, and let's say uh, export this, and you can get rid of this default from here, right? Yeah, and yeah, and here let's here rename it as let's say uh, N A V I G A T I O N navigation N A V I G A T I O N. Let's give it a name of navigation, right? So what I'll be doing inside this component, I'll be using this provider thing, right? Control C and Control V, right? And I will grab the ending tag, right? Now inside this, I can make use of this navigation, right? Control C, right? like so uh, yeah now it should work right uh, yeah it should work now because yeah let's save this and let's see if this works oh we forgot to put return keyword in here yeah let's save this and let's cross our fingers yeah it is being delivered in the default dark mode if I click on this account evaluating colors background so maybe we had uh, maybe we have made some kind of error in this default right let me look into this custom dark theme custom default theme no it is perfect right it is correct uh, let's have a look on the below code here if the theme is current theme then oh we need to here deliver in this custom dark oh my bad custom uh, dark theme like so let's save this again right and let's see that again right if i click in this account yeah okay amazing beautiful so we are able to toggle so finally we delivered the project now you may get some another kind of error because we have written a lot of code and then we have tested so you can see how I solved the error, right? So you can also solve that error, right? I'll be providing the code in the description or maybe you, uh, you can find the, a link to that in this section, right? To the code of this, right? So you need to figure out that what was there. So you can see I can toggle between the color and then this is amazing, right? Okay, so we added toggle, right? So we learned a lot, so right? We used the Redux heavily in this project, right? We also learned how we can combine that also. So this project was a lot of fun. Right, so we are uh, now in the end of this project, right? So we'll be working on some new project in the next few, next section. Or we first we should see how to build application, right, with the expo, right? Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye. One more thing, uh, I made a little mistake as I saw my recorded video. I forgot to this. I forgot to remove this provider from here, so we can remove this provider from here, right? because now we are providing it from in here right if you want you can give your component a name of 
app right if you want right like so right save this and everything should work as it was working earlier yeah so i made a little this mistake right okay still everything was working fine but you should remove the provider right okay so i'll see you guys inside the next video